welcome to my channel my name is holly and if you are new to my channel don't worry i'm also new here this is actually my first ever uh youtube video so please bear with me yeah. yes uh, so actually the focus of this video is all about living independently dorm life living the dorm life so if you want to know how to survive the independent life please keep on watching so counting background lang kung paano ako nag start ng independent living um so after graduation by the way gumraduate ako sa isang university dito sa Cavite and then um nag start after graduation nag start na akong uh, mag-attend ng mga recruitment events, ganyan, para mag-apply, of course, sa Quezon City. So, sa Eastwood yun. So, dahil nga malayo siya, sa Cavite ako, um, hindi naman ideal na mag uwian ka because of, of course, the traffic situation here in the Philippines. Dahil nga, merong, you know, pandemic, it's really not advisable na Lumabas labas ka. That's why nagsisay ako dito ngayon sa Cavite. So before I before we proceed sa factors that you have to consider in order for you to survive the dorm life, let me provide you first with three major things that you have to consider or um look into bago ka mag-transfer din sa new place mo. So first is the um payment scheme. Ayan, may merong agad money na involved, of course. Um, you have to check ano ba yan? Um, is it one month advance, one month deposits, deposit? Well, I'm talking about like for example, magrent ka, right? So one month advance, one month deposit. Iba iba kasi sila. Eh. Meron ding um, two months advance, then one month deposit. And second one is the contract. You have to check the contract. Um, dun sa pagbibilihan mo, say for example, bibili ka ng bahay or magre-rent ka ng, ng space, you have to check ano ba yung contract nila. Minimum stay, merong 6 months, merong 1 year, then meron din namang mga transient. Usually, this is for um, interns, no? Um, pagka ganun, siguro mga 1 month, ganyan, 2 months, 3 months. And lastly, kapag ka um, meron ka ng napili na bahay, you have to make sure na pupuntahan mo or someone you know will visit the place para makita nila yung actual look nung, nung lugar. Um, kasi merong mga nag-offer ng place for rent na ang in-upload nilang pictures sa website ay yung photos na wala pang nag-occupy. So, outdated na ganyan. Luma na pala yung place and then yung sa picture, it's still super fresh. So, um, you also have to make sure na, alam yun, nakikita mo yung lugar bago ka mag Alright, let's now begin with the factors that you have to consider. First is the type of accommodation. You have to identify according to your need kasi magkakaiba yan eh. Um, bed space ba yung kukuhanin mo? Room for rent? Sa condo ba? Sa apartment ba? Ngayon, if meron ka namang money na ready para bumili ng condo or ng sarili mong house and lot, ganyan. So, then why not? Alright, so very important thing to consider when looking for the best place is the, um, of course, the location or yung distance ng place mo to your office or ng place mo sa university mo or school mo because um, you are already paying for your accommodation and kapag kaganitong setup, sobrang dami kang kailangan bayaran, sobrang daming gas. So, malaking bagay na rin kung walking distance na lang yan. Kahit na, alam mo yun, jeep or tricycle, magkano din yun, di ba, sa isang buwan. So, also, iwasan mo yung nagta-taxi ka, ganyan, na kailangan mo pa mag-taxi, mag-take ng Grab or ng Uber, or, wala na palang Uber, or, yeah, taxi, Grab, or ang cast, ganyan, kasi, even dun sa pag-book mo ng grab or ng taxi ng angka, sobrang hirap din. Di um, when it comes to the amenities, you have to check with the own... Yung po bang babayaran ko kasama na yung kuryente, yung tubig, what else? Ganyan, meron bang submitter? So... Ako personally, I really like yung setup na, say for example, 5,000 all-in na yon. Hindi mo, pa, hindi mo kailangang isipin 
kung magkano yung magiging bill nyo, yung electric bill nyo, at saka yung water bill nyo. Kasi, what if um, sobra mong tipid, pero yung mga kasama mo, say for example, mara- meron ka mga kasama dun sa lugar. Um, what if hindi naman sila kagaya mo na, na talagang nagko-conserve? So, ayun. So, when it comes to the amenities, um, nung fresh grad ako, ay nakahanap ako ng, ng, ng job. Um, Siyempre, nag-search ako sa sa internet, no? And then, nakita ko condo. May, mayroong mga photos din ng, ng gym, may photos ng, ng swimming pool, at saka iba pang recreational areas. And sobrang na-excite na kahit na hindi ko siya gumagamit ko yun. And yun, yun, yun yung naging deciding factor. Kasi sabi ko, ito, kasi mayroong, mayroong pool, mayroong gym. Pero, at the end of the day, you have to consider, magagamit mo ba yan? Yeah. have to check the place, at saka yung mga inclusions. Say, for example, um, you prefer na ikaw yung, mag- ikaw yung magluto, then you have to look for a place na mayroong stove. Pwede magluto, mayroong proper storage ng food, may ref. Ibig sabihin, ganyan. You need wifi for your studies, alam mo yun. New, hindi yung ikaw pa yung magpapakabit. And what else? Table TV, ganyan. Wi-Fi, aircon, electric fan. Nakauhaw. Commercial. Okay, on to the next factor, which is food. Kaya kayang ilagay dito yung food? Malalaman natin. But yeah. The next factor is the food. So... Um, actually, marami ang nagdadalawang isip kung kaya ba nila na mamuhay ng independently because they don't know how to cook. Well, good news for you. There are so many ways para matulungan ka na hindi ka maguto. So, first is, of course, andyan yung YouTube. Search mo lang how to cook sinigang, how to cook rice, ganyan. Um, how to cook pasta, yung mga ganyan. So, with the help of YouTube or Google, meron dyan step-by-step guide on how you can cook. Also, another life hack. Um, ako, minsan nagluluto ako na good for three days. Kasi nagbabaon ako eh. Nagbabaon ako sa office. So, um, magluluto ako ng good for three days, ganyan. Hindi na five kasi makakaumay yun at saka baka ma-spoil yung food. So, magluluto ako ng um, for three days, ganyan, na, na lunch ko, and then, ang gagawin ko, i re ko siya, or if freezer ko siya, and then, pagkakainin ko na, i microwave ko lang, or i heat ko siya sa, sa stove, para yung quality ng food ay hindi mag-change. That's a smart move, believe me. Believe me. That's a smart move. I've been doing that for a very, 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 very long time, and okay naman so far. Also, when it comes to food, and you miss your parents cooking, your mom's cooking, your sister's cooking, kapag ka nag-uuwian ka, you can ask them to cook for you na pwede mo na lang baunin. So, ginagawa ko yan before. But also, you have to consider um, yung food na hindi agad madaling ma-spoil. So, say for example, adobo, ganyan, ask your mom to to marinate the pork for you or the meat for you so that when you reach your dorm or your own space, pwede mo na lang siyang i-fry or i-microwave, i-oven, ganyan. So that is a very good life hack. Also have, you know, you know a choice to uh, siguro mag-stock ka ng sausage, ganyan, ng hot dog, ng longganisa, to see, you know, but of course, it's really not advisable. Na laging ganun na lang yung food mo, like processed or canned goods or noodles. It's not healthy. So once in a while, try to cook ano, eggs. Wow, well, eat up egg, <laughs> ganyan, tapos vegetables. The, another one is meron mga nag-offer ng alam mo yun, meal prep. So medyo pricing alang siya, pero ang kagandahan yun. You don't have to think of your next food to eat kung nag-aalala ka na wala pa akong naluluto. Well, meal prep is also good for you lalo na if nagde-diet ka ganyan because they will ask you kung ilan yung calories na gusto mo or you prefer mo na kailangan ng katawan mo and then they will prefer prefer <laughs> the food for you and maganda niyan um pwede nilang i-deliver yung food sa 
sa office mo, sa school mo, or sa place mo. Occasionally, nag-order din ako sa grab food, ganyan. Food panda, kasi hindi naman natin maiwasan yung mga cravings natin. Diyan, hindi siya mawawala. Pero syempre, guys, don't forget yung drinking water. Kasi, of course, you need that. Um, uh, distilled water, mineral water. Meron mga nagde-deliver niyan. So, check nyo doon sa malapit na na place kung merong kayang mag-deliver pero if wala naman um of course nandiyan yung 7-Eleven mga convenience store grocery um to the rescue kaya lang syempre of course medyo medyo pricey lang yun okay, next factor that you have to consider is the security don't take this for granted guys sobrang halaga ng security um, if condo yung napili mo na tirahan, no problem because meron naman silang mga security guards and yung CCTV nila should be working 24-7. So, um, safe. Yan ang maganda sa mga condo, safe sila typically. But, if titira ka sa isang lugar na alam mo yun, shared room kayo, ganyan, you have to check if pwede bang i-kandado. I mean, Merong, alam mo yun, mga hook na pwedeng ikandado yung mga cabinets, ganyan. And check nyo rin yung door at saka yung windows kung secured. When it comes sa door, um, sana double lock sila. So, para safe, alam mo yun, kasi you can never tell. So, another factor to consider is the general atmosphere. So, when it comes to general atmosphere, um, hindi lang dapat yung physical, yung titingnan nyo. If you are um, a working professional, do you think you'll get enough rest, alam mo yun, privacy dun sa lugar na yun? If you are a student, um, check if makakapag-aral ka ba ng maayos, maingay ba yung lugar, Comfortable ka ba doon? Kampante ka ba? Uh, you have to kind of feel the energy sa paligid kung alam mo yun, positive vibes ba? Moving on to the next factor, um, the services available na malapit doon sa inyong um, place. So, so, you have to check if convenient ba yung, yung napili yung place. Malapit ba kayo sa 7-Eleven? Sa mga convenience store, 7-Eleven, mga Alpha Mart, ganyan. Lawson. What else? Mini Stop. Big Hanneman. <laughs> so, yeah. That is really helpful. Lalo na halimbawa, um, nagutom kayo, wala kayong stock at all. Wala kayong anything and gusto nyo lang ng, ng snack. But if merong convenience store dyan, of course, makakabili agad kayo ng food. So, it's really a big factor for me. Ako, personally, hinahanap ko yung malapit dun sa mga yon Sarap. <laughs> Alright, so next is the laundry. So, kung magpapalaba ka, iba-iba yung price, pero typically, it's 30 to 40 per kilo yung ano wash and fold ganyan yeah. i personally find it convenient na magpapalaban na lang kasi after work talagang pagod na ako ganyan wala na akong time maglaba and on weekends umuwi ako sa Cavite so that's why kumokontakt na lang ako ng ng isang laundry shop to pick up my clothes and then kapag ka delivery na tatawagan ko lang din sila and yun and the other solution to your laundry concerns is, of course, ikaw yung magla-laundry. But if meron ka mga kasama sa bahay, you have to check yung schedule nila. It's really advisable na meron kayong schedule para hindi siksikan yung clothes nyo doon sa, sa sampayan, para matuyo ng maayos, and mabango yung mga zamet. So, you have to check with them. Magkaroon kayo ng schedule. Next is the grocery. So, I personally find grocery therapeutic. That's why it's my favorite part of the weekend. So, kapag ka ganon, kapag ka grocery time na guys, my only tip is um, bilhin, bumili kayo ng in bulk because mas nakakatipid yon and mas, 
marami kayo matitipid, pera at saka oras kapag ka bulk kayo bibili. Also, since I I cook my own food, my own baon, bumibili rin ako ng mga condiments, ganyan, ng mga sauce, ng mga processed food, ganyan, canned goods, egg, ganyan. So, next thing that I do wanna talk about is the budget and lifestyle. So, Guys, rule of the thumb, do not live beyond your means. Yes, ma'am. Lalo na kung yung workplace nyo or yung office nyo, yung school nyo, sobrang ang daming restaurants sa paligid. You have to control yourself. You have to control yourself and do not forget to save. So, when it comes to budgeting, I learned it the hard way, lalo na nag-umpisa pa lang ako sa work ko. Um, you have to set na sa sarili, you have to set sa sarili mo na you have to pay for the accommodation, you have to to allocate money for your food, what else? For your savings, for your family. So, don't forget that, okay? Hindi kapag ka sumweldo ka na, then boom, 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 no. So, again, those are the eight tips or factors that you have to consider in order for you to survive the independent life. Yes, there will be difficulties along the way. Hindi natin maiwasan yan because wala namang madali, lalo na kapag ka ikaw ay um, maninirahan on your own. Kailangan mong i-consider, again, yung budget, homesickness. Isa yan sa mga pinagdaanan ko na nahirapan talaga ako kasi sobrang close family ties. Tapos biglang, boom, you have to work. You have to study. Yan yung mga kailangan yung paghandaan. Lalo na yung mga times na, alam mo yun, magkakasakit ka and walang ibang mag-aalaga sa'yo. Sobrang nakakalungkot yun. Yes, but anyway, totoo yun. So guys, when living an independent life, hindi naman yan puro struggles lang or difficulties. Um, for me, personally, um, I think it's a milestone, it's an achievement because natutunan kong gawin ang mga bagay-bagay for myself na dati may ibang taong gumagawa nun for me. Um, from buying, you know, my own personal stuff, um, and I also maintain myself from head to toe. And that is something that I am proud of. Uh, matuto akong mag-manage ng time because wala naman dyan yung parents mo para gisingin ka, ipagluto ka, ipaglaba ka, ipagplansya ka ng mga damit mo. When you are living an independent life, you have to do all these things on your own. And I remember one time, nagkaroon ng problem dun sa, dun sa cabinet so I had to replace it with a different screw or by a screw pero I went to the hardware and mali yung nakuha kong screw so there's gonna be a lot of trial and error pero I guarantee you meron ka talagang matututunan pagka decided ka na to live an independent life you should have the courage Dapat strong girl ka, ganyan, kasi talagang malalayo ka sa, sa family mo. Pero sa kabila nun, sobrang, sobrang dami mo rin matututunan. So, I'm just really so grateful that I made the right choice of, you know, working in the metro. But, don't forget then, of course, uh, to visit your family on weekends. Kailangan mo ding, if, you, if you're living an independent life, you have to make sure na Alam mo yon hindi nawawala yung bonding nyo ng family nyo. So, you also have to find time para umuwi. And, you know, that's your original safe haven. And up to this time, yun pa yung aking safe haven. So, I always make it a point na on weekends, as much as possible, uuwi ako. So, there. So, that is it for this video. Um, if nagustuhan nyo to, ito na. Sasabihin ko na, sasabihin ko na. Pinapanood ko lang to dati, pero sasabihin ko na. <laughs> if you like this video please give it a thumbs up 
and I hope you can also subscribe to my channel and para makatulong tayo sa iba if naging helpful nga ito um, please also share this video thank you so much and see you on my next one bye